If you're taking Algebra 1 this year and you don't know how to write an equation from two points, don't worry, I got you. So we're given the two points, 8, negative 5, and 12, negative 3, okay? And so the first thing that we're going to do in order to get our equation is we're going to find the slope. And so the slope formula is M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, okay? So I'm just going to use the first point and let it be x1, y1, and my second point will be x2, y2. So now we're just gonna plug in each number as they're labeled, and we're gonna find the slope. So y2 minus y1 is gonna be negative three minus negative five over x2 minus x1, which is 12 minus eight, all right? So negative three minus a negative five is the same thing as negative three plus positive five, and that's gonna be positive two over 12 minus eight, which is four. So we have two over four, which can reduce to one over two or one half. So our slope is one over two. So I'm gonna make a note that M is equal to one half, okay? So now that we have the slope, one over two, and we have a couple of points we can work with, I'm gonna use point slope form and plug in what we know to get an equation. Okay, so point slope form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So we already found the slope, and I'm gonna use x1 and y1 for my first point to plug in to our equation. So we're gonna have y minus y1 is negative five equals m is one over two or one half, and then x minus x1 is eight. And so now we have our equation in point slope form. I'm gonna go ahead and change this minus negative to just plus. So we'll have y plus five equals one half x minus four because one half times x is one half x and one half times negative eight is just negative four. So now we just have one more step to get it to slope intercept form and that's gonna be to subtract five from both sides and get y is equal to one half x and then negative four minus five is negative nine so we're gonna write minus nine and so our final answer in slope intercept form is y equals one half x minus nine and that is all you have to do.